Good afternoon ladies and welcome to your Style and Confidence video. So, you may have noticed that we are a little bit earlier than normal and that's because number one it's half term and number two I thought we'd just mix it up a little bit, see if it might be better for more people to hop on during their lunch time and see if it can bring a bit more value to you if you can watch it while you're maybe on a break at work or having a little break from the kids. So it's half term. Um, for any of you that are watching um, who are off for half term, please drop me a comment below and tell me what you're up to. We've got lots of stuff planned this week with the boys. Um, Austin is at Holiday Club today. So this is what we like to call a danger live. And that means that my littlest boy is in there with plenty of snacks and his iPad. Um, so he's been warned not to come in, but you never know, he might just make an appearance. So yeah, it's half term. Some people are lucky enough to take the time off work and some people may be at work. But if you're off work, sometimes you're at home with the kids and it can be an idea to get those little house jobs done. And a wardrobe edit is something which you can do while the kids are around, which will make you feel a million times better. So today's video, we're going to be covering what happens at a wardrobe edit. So for those of you that don't know me, I'll just do a little introduction to me and what I do, and then we'll get cracking on the wardrobe edit part. So I'm Joy Gregory, I am the Style and Confidence Coach. I work only with women, and I work with women to feel good about themselves. And the way I do this is using clothing. Clothing which flatters their unique body type, and their skin tone, and also their style personality. So I don't believe that you have to be a certain size or weight to look good in your clothes. I think it's all about the style of clothes flattering you, the fact that they feel authentically you, so they suit your personality, and that they work color-wise. So I don't believe in any fad diets or any quick fixes. I purely believe that you have to work on your inner self-worth and wearing the right things to feel good about yourself. So that's me in a nutshell and one of the services which I provide is a wardrobe edit and this this can be done by yourself um, and for those of you that have for your style bible if you can just find it here you can go to the DIY wardrobe edit chapter in there and it will tell you exactly how to clear your wardrobe out so if you are too far away for me to travel to. It's a really simple way for you to do one at home. But today I wanted to cover what I do when I come to your home. So if you booked a wardrobe edit, I'd come to your home and we would literally turn your wardrobe around. So firstly, wardrobe edits can be called a number of different things. So you might have heard of a declutter. Some other stylists call them a declutter and Really, a declutter is completely different to a wardrobe edit. A declutter usually is sorting, rearranging, tidying the hangers, putting your shoes in a row. It's not as in-depth as I go with a wardrobe edit. So you'll see as we go along how much work goes into a wardrobe edit. If there's anybody watching who has had a wardrobe edit, I'd love you to pop your comments below and just sort of give your interpretation of what you experienced. So... Why is a wardrobe edit useful? Because you might think, well, actually, I'm getting on all right, just putting stuff over the banister or stuffing it in or rolling it up and shoving it in drawers. Now, a wardrobe edit's useful because, number one, it's going to save you time. So, go into your wardrobe in the morning and already having outfits lined up in a correct order with the things that they go with, with the shoes available and the accessories will save you time. And by saving you time, it's going to save you stress because for me in the morning, it's literally military getting the kids ready in their uniform, getting their bags packed and getting out of the door ready for the school run. So if you can go to your wardrobe and you've already got stuff hanging there, it's going to save you time and stress. But it's also going to save you money. And you might think, well, how is it going to save me money? Because I actually have to pay for a wardrobe edit. However... Saving you money comes because you know what you've got 
And when you go out shopping, you know the little bits that you can buy to go with these things that are already in your wardrobe. And you're not going to be buying things and just replacing stuff that you forgot about in your wardrobe. The number of times that I go to people's houses and we're going through the items and they're like, oh my God, I forgot I got that. Or they might have 15 white shirts because they've just kept buying the same thing that they didn't need. So a wardrobe edit really saves you money in the long run. So how long is a wardrobe edit? You know, like, is it a quick fix? Is it, am I in and out in an hour? No. If you've had one before, you can probably have a refresher, a transitional wardrobe edit that might take around, hi Jodie, I can see you're looking, I've done your wardrobe, haven't I? Um, yeah, it would usually take about three hours for a transitional one, going from winter to spring. Um, but if you haven't had one before, most of the time you'd need a six hour wardrobe edit and that is because of the detail that goes into what we're about to discuss. So if you've just got a very tiny, small, single wardrobe and a few drawers, we might be able to do it in three hours. However, it takes time. It's not just going through the clothing. It is explaining each item to you and why it will work, what it will go with, what colours it would work with, what accessories it would look good with. So it's not a quick experience. It's a learning process and it's knowledge sharing, and I will leave your home on that day and you'll know exactly what to wear with what. So, what happens? You book your wardrobe edit, you click add to cart and you buy it, and I will get in touch with you to arrange a date. And once that's done, you will receive um, a body shape analysis where you'll find out what your body shape is. You'll receive a personal color analysis so you'll know what your colour palette is. And you can see behind me, everybody does have their own unique colours that work for them. And you'll receive my personal styling questionnaire. And that's for me to get an idea of the sort of styles that you like in advance of me turning up. So once you've done that, I will have an idea of the sort of things that will flatter you, the sort of outfits that will work well for your body shape and your proportions. And... When it comes to the day, I turn up with my little bag of tricks and we start off by having a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you want. Nice and relaxing and we'll have a chat. Now in advance of me turning up, I will have asked you to make sure that all your clothes, your accessories, your shoes and your coats are in one room so that we're not spending all day running across a landing, fishing something out of the spare bedroom or going into backpacks. And we'll have a chat about your lifestyle. So what does your lifestyle look like? Do you work part-time? Do you look after the kids part-time? Do you work from home? Do you go to the gym a lot? How often do you go out and about socialising? And that will be then down to me to look at your wardrobe and see whether it reflects the amount of time that you spend on these activities. Because if half your wardrobe's taken up with your old prom dress or your wedding dress or your going out clothes and you do not go out anymore... It's wasting space for you that you could have your day-to-day -day outfits hanging up. So we talk about your lifestyle. We talk about how you feel about your body and how you feel about your style. What problem areas you think you've got. So if you don't like showing your arms, I need to know that because I'm going to be putting outfits together and we need to be aware of the areas that you don't like showing. And that's absolutely fine. Um, I don't come to your house and say, right, you've got to have full body positivity from now on. You've got to be self-confident. You've got to start wearing all this stuff. I don't do that. That's not how I work. I take into consideration all of the things that you're self-conscious of from that day. So if you like to show your boobs, we'll wear things that have got a lower cut to them. If you like to show your legs, we'll make sure that you're wearing the skirts that you've got. But I will also make sure that you know what you'll look your best in. So we talk about the aims of the day. So what are we aiming for? Are we aiming for 15 to 20 work outfits? Are we aiming to put some stuff together to go and meet the girls for coffee? Are we aiming for going out outfits? Recently, um, at my, the wardrobe edit the other week, a lady was going on a conference and she wanted outfits that she could wear for the daytime, but then she could transfer to going out for a meal with her colleagues at night. So we spend about half an hour talking together about what the aims of the day are and what you do with your spare time. So 
So all your things are in one room. We go upstairs and then you sit on the bed or in the chair or however your bedroom's set up and I go through your wardrobe. Now, anything that you needed to remove in advance, I would like to think you've already done. But then what I do is I go through every single item one by one. I get it out. I present it to you and I will ask you a series of questions. When did you last wear it? So if you're doing your own wardrobe edit at home, you need to be asking yourself, when did I last wear that item? Number two, how did it make me feel? If the last time you wore it, you felt like shit, don't wear it ever again. Let's put it in the getting rid of pile. If the last time you wore it was last week and you liked it, we keep it and we put it back in the wardrobe. So if as we're going through, we're identifying that half the things in your wardrobe you've not worn for over a year, is that because they don't fit? They don't feel like your style anymore? Is it because your lifestyle doesn't reflect that sort of clothing. You know, have you got a lot of heels in there and now you're a mum and you're running around with the buggy all the time, dashing in and out of Tesco and playgroups? We have to make sure that even if something fits, if it doesn't feel like you and doesn't fit into your lifestyle, that we need to get rid of it. Sell it, charity shop it, gift it to a family member, whatever. But it shouldn't be in your functional wardrobe. You shouldn't be looking at that every time you open the doors. So... The other things that a lot of people do is they might get a hole in something and they might really like it and they stick it back in the wardrobe. They love it, but they just never get it repaired. So on that day that I come to your house, nothing goes back in that wardrobe unless it's debobbled, repaired, been sent for dry cleaning. You know, there's no end of women that wear something they love and then they'll go, oh God, it's dry clean only, stick it in. It's not going back in there unless it's ready to wear. So once we've gone through that, we go through your tops, trousers, jackets, skirts, everything. If I start to identify you've got a lot of stuff in there that's not serving you well, I will suggest that we get rid of it. And I'll do it in a really tactful way. It's the only way I know how. I'm never really that brutal, but I will make sure I'm honest with you. So if you're a pear shape and your wardrobe consists of loads of skinny jeans and slogan t-shirts that go... Um, the wrong direction, I will say, look, this is not doing you any favours. I think you would be best place to sell these on eBay. You'll get a five or a pair for them. Let's put them to one side and spend some time listing them. If you don't need the money, you can charity shop them, give them away, whatever. But I don't like people to hold on to stuff that isn't serving them. Um, one of my very first wardrobe edits, the lady had got at least 15 pairs of leggings and she was a pear shape and she didn't want to get rid of them. So I said, look, let's just put them in a backpack and put them under your bed. You know, you're not throwing them away. It's like a security blanket, but they're not in your functional wardrobe. They're not doing you any favours. So let's please get them out of sight. So again, if you were somebody who was very self-conscious of their thighs and their uh, their calves and you've got lots of mini skirts in there I'd be saying look when did you wear these how did they make you feel were they from a time when you were a different size when you were able to wear them a lot of women who um, might be stay-at-home mums or work part-time have changed jobs and they've got loads and loads of corporate wear in the wardrobe they've still got blazers and shirts and they really don't need to be in there if you're saving them for going back into that world backpack them and put them away so then we get to the exciting bit. We break for lunch and we'll have a little bit of a, you know, discussion of how it's going and how that person feels it's going. And then we go back upstairs and I start to put outfits together. So I don't just leave you with a wardrobe full of stuff that fits and that you like wearing. I then start with the trousers. And I'll take a pair of trousers or jeans and I will go through each top. So... Say, for example, it's a pair of jeans and I can see that you've got a white t-shirt, you've got a slogan t-shirt, you've got a shirt, you've got some nice soft jumpers. I will then photograph that top with those jeans. I'll then look through the footwear that you've got and depending on what you'd be wearing the outfits for, I'd put the shoes with it. So I might put your court shoes with it if you were wearing them to go for drinks with the girls or I might put your trainers with it if you were going on the school run in it. Um, I'd then look at the jackets that you've got to go over the t-shirts. I'd look at the coats that you've got. 
I then look at the accessories that you've got and then I put them all together and take photographs and for anybody that's been following me a while you'll see that I literally take these flat lays at 100 miles an hour and you'll end up with lots and lots of outfits, way more than you thought you had because the thing that I pride myself on is teaching people how to put colours together because a lot of people fall into the trap of black jeans and a coloured top or coloured trousers and a black top. They just mix everything with black and for me I start to look at what you've got. So you might have got reds and khakis, you might have got nudes and reds and you know, I, I'm not forcing you to wear any of these colour combinations but it's eye opening for people who've got these things that have never thought of how to put them together. So as we're going along, it will be apparent to me what's missing. So as we're going along, I might think, do you know what? You would have so many more outfits if you just had a long line navy coat or some flares or some comfy trainers. Um, or do you know what? That white t-shirt that you've got goes with so much, but it's a little bit faded. It's been through the wash too many times. Why don't we replace that? And as we're going along, I will start to create a list. And that list is for you or for us when we go personal shopping to buy things to then add to your wardrobe. And again, it all depends on your budget. It depends on the priority. You know, you might be like, do you know what? I really need to get that navy coat first, but the jeans can wait. For some people, it's just a case of accessories. And they'll say, do you know what? I just really want to go and spend 20 quid in Primark on lots of different things and make sure that I can add some excitement to my outfits. And do you know what? That is one of the most basic things that you can do and I do it every week. You know, these earrings, these were £1.50 from Primark and they just add a little bit of something to those outfits. So it might be that you need a belt. It might be that you need some trainer socks so that you can wear your trainers without your socks poking out. Whatever it is, we make a list and I go through photographing them and then at the end of the day, I will WhatsApp you all the photographs and you can then either print them, stick them on the inside of the wardrobe door or you can just use them in the morning and flick through. So it's a full on day and it, you know, it's very, very exhausting. I will be up and down taking pictures all day and putting things in and folding things up and making piles. It really is a valuable service because once you've had that done, you will be able to go to your wardrobe and see exactly what to wear. There'll be nothing in there that you take out, put on and think, oh no, that's not for me. While I'm at your house, it's entirely down to you whether or not you try these outfits on. I wouldn't want anyone to book thinking they've got to get naked. But what tends to happen is within 10 minutes, my clients will be just taking their top off and trying things on and showing me how they fit and asking me what they think. So you don't have to, but it's really useful while I'm there to get my opinion on things. So that's it in a nutshell, really. That is what a wardrobe edit is. It's not just me coming and titivating things and moving a few hangers around, putting it in colour order. You can have the order however you want. It can be hung in outfits, it can be hung tops, t-shirts, trousers, skirts, dresses, as you like. Um, and it really is personalised to every person. And I want to share some exciting news with you. No, not having a baby, thankfully. I am running a webinar. So for anybody that hasn't had their body shape analysis done or is totally new to this and doesn't know where to start, I'm running a webinar on the 25th of February and it's a Style and Confidence Masterclass at 8pm. And what you need to do is you need to register. I'll pop the link in the comments. Register for it. You can watch it in the comfort of your own home with a brew. And for those of you that haven't done a webinar before, you're not on camera, you are watching me and I'll be sharing lots and lots of information. And... I'm calling it the six secrets to style and confidence because it's the six things you need to know to kickstart your confidence journey. And I'll be sharing lots about body shapes, lots about colour palettes. I'll be giving you tips on things to wear that fit in with your lifestyle, with your wardrobe. I'm going to be sharing some shopping tips. And really, I want you to come along to the webinar with an open mind, um, an open mind that you can become more confident and more stylish and that you're not a lost cause because that's what so many 
of the women that I work with think they are and they're really not. So come along and join me. I'll pop the link below. I would love it if you share it with your friends. If you've got any women who you know who are down on themselves, who don't feel confident enough to try new things, I would love for you to share it. And please, 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 hashtag replay if you've watched this on the replay. Share it to your timeline. Let's try and reach as many women as possible because all's not lost, guys. I know it's hard running a family, going to work, keeping on top of everything as well as looking good, but it really, really can be much easier than it is now. And for anybody that's interested, this is one of my new purchases from Tesco, my favourite, and it was £12 in the sale. So again, for £13.50, I've created a whole new outfit and I've just got it on with some black trousers today. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions at all, please pop them in the comments and I'll answer at any time after this video. If you're interested in booking a wardrobe edit, please get in touch because March is really, really, really busy. Um, it's a really good time to have a wardrobe edit and I haven't got many dates available. So if you'd like to book, let me know and I'll try and squeeze you in. Um, but April's looking pretty good at the moment. So yes, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.